C. Force pump. This pump can be used to raise water to heights more than 10 meters. Upstroke. During upstroke, air above the valve S expands and its pressure reduces below atmospheric pressure. The atmospheric pressure on the water in the well below pushes water up past valve S into the barrel. Note. Pressure above valve T is atmospheric hence the valve does not open. Downstroke. During downstroke, the valve S closes. Increase in pressure in the water in the barrel opens valve T and forces water into chamber C so that as water fill the chamber air is trapped and compressed at the upper part. During the next stroke, valve T closes and the compressed air expands ensuring continuous flow. Advantages of a force pump over a lift pump 1. Force pump enables continuous flow of water. 2. Height to which water can be raised does not depend on the atmospheric pressure. It depends on amount of forces applied during downstroke, ability of the pump and its working parts to withstand pressure. D. The siphon. A tube can be used to empty tanks or draw petrol from petrol tanks in cars and used in this way it is referred as a siphon. Pressure on the surface of the liquid is atmospheric pressure. Since NC of the tube is below the surface A by height H, pressure at C is greater than that at the surface. The tube is first filled with the liquid after which it will continue to run so long as NC is below the liquid surface. Pressure at C equals PA plus H rho G. The excess pressure, H rho G, cause the liquid to flow out of NC. The siphon will work only if end of the tube C is below the surface of A of the liquid to be emptied. The tube is first filled with the liquid, without any bubbles in it. The tube does not rise above the barometric height of the liquid from the surface A of the liquid to be emptied. One end of the tube is inside the liquid to be emptied. Note. A siphon can operate in a vacuum.